Soul Illumination is a little nonprofit that I started about 13 years ago. And now we have this amazing, beautiful, well-run organization where we offer photos in the greater Seattle area for families whose children had very serious illnesses, free of charge. Now, certainly not all the people we photograph with soul illumination pass away, but many, many do. These photos really mean everything to them because many of them, if they're babies, have, have really no other real things that they can hold in their hand to remember the child and see them. Woohoo! Those are some good stuff. <laughs> They're awesome. Of course, the social workers, the doctors, the nurses can tell them about us, but anybody can refer us. And the, all that we ask is that the family has to agree to the photos. And so it gives an opportunity for people in the community, whether they're healthcare workers or not, to be able to understand and offer something of compassion. And one thing we want to be sure that this photography is not associated with is time of death or death only. Suggest us sooner rather than later, because then the photos have a different depth too. If the child is still well enough to go outside to a park or we can go to their home, then those photos might be warmer. And we wouldn't really turn people down for a second shoot that was more in hospital if it turned out the child was dying and they really wanted more intimate photos. Many, many of our children die, but also they live. and have grown up and we've watched them grow up and it's exciting to see them go away to college. And those, those are powerful images too. It's not like we want to just be creating a legacy of only children who die. Oh, Superman! Our biggest goal is to expand the work just locally. We know there's more work we can do because we don't just work with children. We also work with adults at end of life who are leaving behind kids between birth and 18. And we know those photos are incredibly important for those children to go on and have solid memories that will help them through their adult years. Here, show, let's see. Well, show me your guns. Get it out there. <laughs> oh, oh that's, that's really you? Actually, it probably is. I think it is. That's really him. Oh, oh that's good. That's good. Look at Sleep. Kiss Sissy's head. No. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want. is holding so much. Do they give me a medal? We didn't ask if I had to. Thank you, and it means so much to us to know that someone cares enough to take time out of their day, put themselves into our life for just an hour. We just appreciate it, and we wish there's a way we could pay you all back. These are memories that we will have forever and be able to cherish these photos forever. We don't know what the future will bring, but we always have that moment, and you guys put it there. You helped us with that. Give Sissy a kiss on the cheek. We can't thank you enough. There is a connection between the hearts of all the photographers and the people who have met these children that we have worked with that makes our ability to move forward possible. It's never that it's easy to go, but there is a level of knowing how important this work is that you don't feel, even though you know it might feel bad, it's bad in a way that this world needs. It's showing a kindness that's so important. You will never get over the loss of a child. You should never get over a loss of a child. But the way you move forward in life is, I think, through help of grabbing onto the fact that your child was valued and will always be valued by other people too. 
It has to be a gift so that the legacy part of it carries that with it somewhere in the background of their minds. People understood how valuable and precious our child was, that they were willing to give their time and raise funds so that we would never pay for something like that. If you're gonna work with Solum Nation, take photos or volunteer or any part of it, it becomes incredibly clear that life has no set link. Any of us could be gone at any time. And if you just put that into my own personal life, running an organization that you wanna have keep going, you have to build it so other people can run it when you're not able to. So it, believe it or not, it feels good. It feels just right. It's phenomenal what has happened, and it's phenomenal to me. And such an honor, every single volunteer that understands that, every single person, every hour that's been given, just shows me that it is the right thing to do. So it isn't even just the families appreciating it, but think of our volunteers that haven't been served themselves. They wouldn't be coming, not even just the photographers, if they didn't intrinsically know it was the right thing to do. If we serve the families first, put them as the priority, somehow the money to raise this will come. I've seen them change my life, maybe more than, than the photos that I give them. There is nothing in this world you can't do. If you have an idea that's right, you can do it.